before I did start today's video, I did want to say congratulations to CTORKIT99 for winning this week's giveaway. If you can, hit me up on Instagram so you can pick which figure you want and I'll get it sent out to you as soon as possible. And if you want a chance at winning next week's giveaway, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and go down to the comments and let me know who you think will win in a fight between Beerus and Ciampa. And that'll automatically enter you in a chance to win. With that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> Now, the first place we did pull up to was Ross, and I was actually surprised as Ross actually had some heat in there. They did have two Dragon Stars hit figures as well as a Dragon Stars trunk, which definitely did surprise me considering I wasn't expecting to really find anything in Ross today. But I did actually end up finding a decent amount of stuff as I did actually end up finding a Transformers Rise of the Beast Cheetor, as well as a Dragon Stars base form Goku, a Dragon Stars base form Vegeta, and a bunch of those Dragon Stars trunks, and so much more stuff that I found. I definitely was surprised at how much stuff Ross had in stock today. Now, I didn't end up picking anything up as y'all know i'm specifically going for figure wars right now but i always try to make sure i stop by places like ross and ollie's just to show y'all what they got in stock whether it's dragon ball dc transformers i'm always gonna look out and try to find y'all the best deal hey, yeah man like i said i definitely was surprised with how much stuff they had today hey, yeah man make sure you do check out ross if you do see anything in this video that you might want because they might have it in stock Alright man, as y'all can see, we did just pull up the Target. We're gonna go ahead and see what they got. Pulling up to the collector section, man. I ain't gonna count. I was so close to throwing my phone across the store. Because when I started looking through the figure arts, it was looking like they didn't have any of the superhero Gohans left. And that was literally the main reason I pulled up to this specific Target in this video. But luckily for me, I did actually find the last superhero Gohan chilling all the way in the bag. Which was definitely crazy considering I usually have the worst luck when it comes to anything. But luckily, like I said, I did end up coming up on that last one that was left. They did did also have a bunch of Saiyan Rays on our Goku as well as the figure wars Naruto and they did also have a bunch of Dragon Ball Evolve figures whether it was Trunks, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, Ultra Instinct Son Goku, Super Saiyan Goku. They was loaded on them. They did also have the Target exclusive Vegeta as well as a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Limit Breaker series. They did of course have that Super Saiyan Gohan and that Gamma 1 2 pack as well. Hey, yeah man y'all already know how it be. Target is always loaded with a bunch of Dragon Star stuff. And that's pretty much it for the Dragon Ball stuff. It definitely was a decent amount, even though most of it was Dragon Star stuff. And as far as anything else being over here, it's just gonna be a bunch of NECA stuff, One Piece stuff, Demon Slayer stuff. The same exact stuff we always see in the collectors all. Nothing's really changed. But make sure if you are looking for that figure wars Naruto or the same rays on our Goku, you are checking out Target. With that being said, we're gonna go to the toy aisle. Now, as far as Transformers, it was pretty much the same as that stuff we've been seeing. But they did actually have Transformers 1 Studio Series Megatron, as well as the Studio Series Optimus Prom. so definitely some decent stuff as far as the dc stuff i ain't even gonna lie to you it was straight trash they ain't have nothing new over there as far as marvel legends they did finally actually stock something new they had a bunch of these secret wars figures that i ain't never seen before but at least they finally stocking something new in the marvel legends area because it's been trash for the past like five months and i also did find again a bunch of those across the spider verse figures and that was pretty much about it target definitely had a decent amount of stuff today and i'm glad i came up on that last gohan but with that being said we finna go to the next location all right man as y'all can see we did pull up the best buy we finna go here and see what they got pulling up to the collector's aisle at best buy i'm not gonna lie they ain't had nothing in here but that lame tanjiro which i'm about sick of seeing at this point man they ain't had no other type of figure arts here they did have a bunch of anime stuff like dragon ball statues and stuff like that and the rest of the stuff that they had was gonna be the typical NECA stuff we always see and that's really about it
All right, man, as you can see, we did pull up the Barnes & Nobles. We finna go in here and see what they got. And I'm finna tell you right now, bro, this Barnes & Nobles is the worst Barnes & Nobles to go to. It's literally straight trash. And the people here are garbage, too. I had asked one of the employees that they had an Ultra Instinct Goku in the back. She talking about something we don't care if figure works in store. You gotta buy them online. Then how the fuck did Sakura get on the back shelf? I don't know, man. Like I said, worst Barnes & Nobles ever, straight doo-doo. We finna pull up. All right, man, as you can see, we pulled up to Walmart. We finna go in here and see what they got. All right, man, coming down to the collector's section let's see what they got still got a bunch of these super saiyan god goku chilling right here literally a whole entire case of them all the way to the back that is ridiculous so if you're looking for the super saiyan god goku again make sure you is check your walmart if there's anything else over here there's dragon ball we do we got a dragon star super saiyan 2 goku right here and a majin boo chilling in the back as well that is going to be about it for this section there is going to be some naruto stuff some demon slayer stuff cooling right there as well that's really about it like i said man make sure you is check your walmart for the super saiyan god goku because as y'all see man it is fully stocked so this should be no reason y'all can't find it hey, yeah man with that being said we finna go to the anime section coming into the anime section off rip i ain't even gonna lie to you there ain't nothing over here it's just gonna be them doo, doo my hero academia figures as well as the chainsaw man and that's really about it over here the rest of it's just completely empty ain't no figure wars ain't no dragon ball nothing over here so we finna go to the toy y'all transformers section y'all already know the deal man it's gonna be a bunch of that transformers one stuff i thought they did have some new studio series but it actually was stuff we had been seeing as far as the marvel legends area it was literally straight garbage they ain't have nothing in it but i did end up actually finding a shadow cooling on the show which was live it seems like every single time i'm doing a hunt video i'm always running into a bunch of these things hey, yeah man as far as the dragon ball section and the toy all i ain't gonna lie that jump was fully stopped they had a bunch of dragon ball evolved figures whether it was jiren they had super saiyan blue vegeto they had super saiyan goku with the battle damage they had base form vegeta they had a super saiyan 3 goku chilling back there they was fully stopped with so many figures man so if you are looking for the dragon ball evolved figures make sure you Definitely are checking out Walmart. And not only did they have that, but they had the Limit Breaker series as well. They had a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, a Base Form Goku, an Ultra Instinct Goku, two Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Frieza, and two Super Saiyan Vegeta. So they definitely had the whole Dragon Ball section this aisle completely packed. So again, if you're looking for any of the Dragon Ball Evolve figures or the Limit Breaker series, make sure you are checking out Walmart. Because as y'all can see, the Walmart I went to was fully stocked on literally everything. And as far as the DC stuff, it's pretty much going to be the same stuff we have been seeing. It's going to be that Dick Grayson Batman, as well as the gold label Superman, and that gold label Green Lantern, and that's really about it. And the Star Wars stuff, trash. <gasps> We done pulled up to a whole nother Walmart, but you probably can't even tell considering we're looking at more of this doo-doo Star Wars stuff. And the Marvel Legends stuff is going to be straight trash. I don't know what they got going on. As far as the Transformers stuff, it's going to be the same as that stuff we've been seeing. It's going to be a bunch of the Transformers 1 stuff, as well as a bunch of the same Transformers Studio series, and that's really about it. And here we go again with me running into a bunch of these shadows, man. I just was talking about this. I keep finding these things everywhere I go. And yeah, man, as you can see, they got this whole entire area just fully stocked with a bunch of Sonic stuff. Sliding into the worst anime section on the planet, man. They don't never have nothing here. I really do need to stop pulling up to this Walmart. And the only thing I ended up finding over here was that lame Dragon Stars 2-pack with the Bardock and the Frieza. And that's literally about it. So with that being said, man, we finna get up out of here. We are back at the crib. And as y'all can see, I did end up picking up up the dragon ball superhero gohan which is definitely crazy considering it was my main goal to pick this thing up at target today and somehow we was lucky enough to come up on the last one that they had in stock which is just crazy to me man did of course also see the same race on our goku at target as well as at walmart we've seen a bunch of those super saiyan god goku we also did see a decent amount of dragon stars as well as dragon ball evolved figures as well but like i said my goal was to specifically pick this figure up and i'm definitely glad there was at least one left hey man that's not the only thing i did pick up today i did also 
pick up not one but two sh figure arts figures that i do have on the way right now but i'm not going to tell y'all what it is yet when they do get here y'all see those reviews on the channel so make sure you definitely stay tuned for that and yeah man i'll also be doing a review on this one for y'all as well too even though i did do a review on this in the past i do want to do another one on this one because this is a reissue and i want to see if anything changed on it from what i'm seeing right here everything does look to be the exact same as the original one that i did have but like i said i definitely will be doing a review on it for y'all but yeah man there's so much new stuff coming to the channel so if you are new make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like to the namaste stay tuned